No doubt you will have heard of the environmental footprint, but do you really know what it means? The environmental footprint is an indicator that measures the main potential environmental impacts of a product, organization or service, based on its life cycle assessment. This methodology is the result of a proposal by the European Commission, and its aim is to create a single criterion to classify different products based on the impact generated by their production, thereby phasing out the labels currently in existence which are confusing to consumers. The Life Render Project is a European initiative that sets out to promote the implementation of this environmental footprint methodology across the countries that make up the EU. It is a tool designed to assess and disseminate these environmental impacts to the various agents involved in the supply chain. We can explain this a little more clearly by looking at the environmental footprints of dairy products as an example. Dairy products begin their life cycle on the farm where the raw milk is produced. An environmental impact is generated by both the fertilizers and the plant protection products used in the cultivation of fodder for the cows, as well as by the fossil fuels required by the machinery used to till the land. In addition, the methane gas generated by the digestive system of cows contributes to an increase in greenhouse gases. The raw milk is transported from the farm to the plant, where it is processed to make various dairy products. The plant receives the raw milk and begins the production process. Transportation of these raw materials also generates an environmental impact, as it too increases emissions of greenhouse gases. The manufacture of the different dairy products involves several processes that use considerable quantities of water and energy, especially the processes required to maintain hygienic and healthy conditions. This stage also produces significant amounts of wastewater, which is extremely polluting due to its high concentration of fats and organic particles. In addition, the manufacture and transport of the plastics and other materials used as packaging for dairy products generates a series of impacts that must be taken into account. The end product is then distributed to the points of sale to be purchased by the consumer. This transportation generates environmental impacts through the use of fossil fuels that, in this particular industry, is exceptionally high, since the products concerned require refrigeration during transportation. Another significant environmental impact associated with this industry is generated at the point of sale. For example, by the electrical energy needed to store the products under refrigeration, the bags used to pack them in when they are purchased, and the different means of transport used by the consumer to travel to the shop. Neither must we forget the impacts generated by the use of these dairy products when they reach the home. These are mainly the result of refrigeration and of washing the kitchen utensils used to consume them. Dairy products complete their life cycle with the management of the waste that is collected and taken to the recycling plant. In a nutshell, LifeRender is a software tool that identifies the critical points in the production processes that cause major environmental impacts within the supply chain by means of the product's environmental footprint methodology and the dairy industry's classification rules. In addition, it suggests the implementation of the best techniques available in order to enable minimization of energy and water consumption, reduction of solid waste and wastewater, optimization of raw materials.